Hello, creators. Hey, so I thought I would do a quick video just recapping. A go-to for me is when I have extra pictures. Personally, I like to um, utilize these 6x12 scrapbooking album pages. And um, I actually use these pretty often in when I come across this circumstance where <clears throat> You know, I am scrapbooking a layout and I have, I don't know, more than 10 pictures. We'll say more than 10. Um, comfortably, I could fit a good eight, up to eight, 10, and still have a very cohesive, tailored layout to that memory. Um, sometimes the, the um, push to really kind of force all of those pictures on there, depending on where the inspiration leads you in that creation process, you know, can <clears throat> kind of um, override also the aesthetics of your layout. Um, and I know for me, I get fulfillment out of both. I really like to kind of step back and enjoy that um, overall creation with the pictures, of course, in mind. And like I said, um, and I know you've seen us scrapbook, you know, two pictures or one picture up to 10 or 12 pictures. But um, when it comes to a two page layout, so like in this case, I had other pictures, but it kept limiting me every time I tried to design. It was like, ah, and I ended up saying, OK, stop. Right. And just scrapbook your page, pick the pictures out that you feel like you kind of want to go with. And in this case, I was accomplishing the sketch challenge, too. Um, and I tried a various different types of designs and then I ended up with this one. Now I ended up with, um, how many pictures? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I had printed all of these off as well and I don't want them to go to waste or forget about them. And so for me, I really want to finish this project as a whole from start to finish in that memory. So I don't want to dedicate a whole nother two page layout per se to this, this, um, specific day of our, uh, vacation here, um, as a family. And so, yes, I like to kind of pull in these pocket page pages. <clears throat> and what I'll do is I'll stick this in my album as a two page layout, but I'll insert one of these once I get it designed kind of uh, in between, it's like a little insert. And so that's how it will look in the album. And like I said, I've kind of really geared towards these <laughs> more frequently than the 12 by 12 pocket page protectors. I prefer these little six by 12s. And, um, and yeah, so I wanted to show kind of just that process again. Um, now, as far as the six by 12s, they're just six by fours. They come with threes on each side. So one, two, three, and they're double sided. So you'll have to do front and back. And um, I got them at Hobby Lobby. So over by the page protectors. And I just kind of picked them up. Um, they come in packs of, what is that, 15? So they'll go pretty far. Like I said, it's occasionally that I have a need for it. So. I started with the front designing here and each pocket is really just kind of like a, I don't even think you could say a mini page. It's like a tiny, it's like a petite page um, for each little pocket. And once you kind of add a picture, it it's not much room left to kind of add a little thing here and you can doll it up all you want, but for the most part, I like to keep them simple, just kind of utilize the remaining leftover pictures and and kind of um, place them in. And of course, I still, after having those three pages that I designed with this, this month's kit specifically, I do have still quite a pa paper to pull from. And so I, I won't even use all of that. Um, yeah, I, I will still have lots left over even with doing these, I probably could do three of these and still have left over. So this is just kind of a look of, a, you know, how it's laid out on the front here. And like I said, usually I get my basic general things. And when I say basic, I 
cut out some four by six cards, kind of like I said, their backgrounds, lay them down, stick a picture on there, pick one or two little accent pieces, and then I just place those down um, with it. Um, I was gonna look here to add maybe just one more little, extra little focus point here to dress this up just a tad. But I was gonna journal about Eli and just how easygoing he is. And I love that when we go on vacays, in this case, our little retreat here, it wasn't too far, it was only like an hour or two away. We went to this fun like a uh, teepee campground new different we haven't done anything like that and he just so easygoing and it's just fun to kind of you know forget about work and life and the day-to-day -day task and just go spend time together and i always enjoy that especially moments around like the campfire and things like that okay so i'm just cutting this little guy out here from this And then I'll probably just adhere these down really quickly. Well, you know what, maybe I'll come back. So this is what it will look like, right? And like I said, I, I usually get the general papers, cut the backgrounds, the general papers, trim them out of there, so four by sixes, and then I will, um, add some basic accessories and then maybe I'll go back and add a few brads or a little um, hardware or, or, or ribbon or things like that, right? So, <clears throat> um, so pretty, pretty basic, and pretty general and not as far as the um, overall design of each one, right? And it's just kind of showing you, you really don't need much. Um, in those cases. So um, I love using the tiny borders when you do little pocket designs too. Let me just download those, let's see these. And then because you're using double-sided paper, so these little tiny borders here, that's what I was sharing. I'll have to trim this one up. I think it's a little bit too long. It is. Okay. And I'll come back and journal on that. But again, just kind of very simple. Doesn't need much on each of those cards. I'll probably have to trim up this photo. Let me see here. I think I'll trim the bottom corner off. Do a little pop up. Just because I'll let it pop up as a feature on my designs and then I'll turn that off and then this one okay so I wanted to just adhere these down and then start fresh on the other side as well so if you cut little four by six cards and you just want to utilize the back, just flip those over and for the most part you should have, you know, the patterns on the back. Now, I did cut this one out. We'll see if it's too busy for that kind of background page. And you want to make sure they're not upside down. So when you flip them over, just kind of do this and then you'll start the process again. But um, I'll have to decide. If not, I'll have to maybe cut another four by six um, in that place of, I have this one, but I don't think I want to go the same blue and then same. So since I have plenty of paper to choose from. And then with my pictures, so then I'll start taking those. Any peach cobbler films out there? This is probably gonna be unpopular. I don't like peach collar, but everybody else loves it. And so we do it, we do make sure to, to cook it up. And my dad is like a peach collar pro. So he taught my daughter Madison how to make it. And so she really enjoys doing that when we happen to go camping or things like that. 
And then I'm just going to take these other accessories here and um, play around with them. I actually might pull out the triangles again. Let me pull those back out. And maybe do just some general designs off of here, right? That just kind of shows you, you can do something very general. And we could take a border and do just a small portion of it. And I think it's fun to have that little night component there. And then if you have title cards, you could throw those into the mix as well, which I thought I had one more title card that I was thinking about using. There it is. Okay, so another thing is, let's say you don't have, you don't have uh, enough pictures to fill this whole front and back thing. So let's say I didn't have this picture. Well, you could just make this middle one a design card. So what I mean by that is you could just take a little title card and you can have that kind of be the focus here, right? And, and that could be a filler card that's just more design focused. And then you could do one here. You know, I would recommend spreading those out. So if you end up kind of figuring out where you want your pictures, then put one here on the front or separate them so they're not back to back. Or if you want, you if you need to, you can fill a whole back with little design cards because if you have the paper and, you know, it really only takes another 10, 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes or whatever. And so those can be really fun too, is just the filler cards um, if need be. Um, in this case, I do happen to have enough pictures to have at least one picture on each space. So that's kind of what I'll be working towards. Um, but yeah, so that is kind of a glimpse at, um, another, you know, approach to fitting in a few more pictures, your pictures. Um, so if that's kind of a solution that works for you so that you don't have that feeling, like I said, um, I've had many times where I'm doing the layout and I feel the tug or the, the, mm, it's overwhelming, I guess is a good way, but it's just kind of feels like a tug, right? Like when you're trying to push a lot of pictures in. Sometimes, like I said, I'll lay out. Sometimes the 10 or 12 pictures works perfect. Sometimes it's just that one picture that you're not gonna fit on there. And usually if that happens, if it's just like I have one leftover picture, not like five or four, where then I'll go towards this. Um, then I will um, usually just look at that one picture and see if it's like something similar to my other ones. And if so, then um, usually I just put it into my single picture thing 